20 years after we won the war against the Omnix, we were no closer to living together in peace. The building of a new home for the Omnix in London was supposed to be the first step in improving human-robot relations. But it never had a chance. The Omnic extremist group, Null Sector, launched a surprise attack on King's Row. Hundreds were killed, and thousands more were displaced as they took control. Now, they are hunting down the last of the survivors. It could be the beginning of a new war between humans and Omnics. Unless we can stop them! Commander Morrison has sent our strike team to liberate the city. It's my first mission, and the only way to save my home. I hope we're not too late. Hello everyone. My name is Morrison, and we're back with some more... Oh god, I'm gonna be mercy. Anyway, <laughs> we have a level 8. I didn't skip because maybe you haven't seen this before. This is the new, or I suppose no longer new because it's, this is the last day that this event is going to be uh, live. This is the new game mode they have with it. Uh, it's basically just... It's, it's just Drunkenstein's Revenge except you have to actually ca like capture points and stuff and push a payload. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty fun, though. Uh, I haven't gotten nearly enough to finish, like, like to 100% complete this. Like, every you know, achievement and everything, but I'm pretty close to it. I was figuring tonight I'm going to, like, push through and, like, to try to get it as fast as possible. But, for now, we have an update video that I was supposed to make two weeks ago and failed twice and then gave up. But, uh, it's been some time, and, uh... Let me tell you, it's been some, it's been some, it's been some good time as well. It's been a lot of things have changed in general. Uh, I got an internship both m a month and a week ago. It's been great. The job's just, it's en it's very enjoyable because it's chill and like you don't actually have to like run around and do stuff a lot. And I'm often charged with doing lifting and uh, like doing inventory and putting stuff out in the store, which is fun. Like retail. Is a job that I can enjoy because it's, I, I don't really have to be a really like smart, smarty pants guy to be able to do it properly. So I just, it's just very, very enjoyable. It's, just, it's been pretty much the job that I've always enjoyed in any situation I've had the opportunity to work with it. So now I can do that and hopefully I'll be able to work there for longer. I don't know. I might not get um, another contract there. You might have to move to another place, but it's been good. A month of experience is better than nothing, you know what I mean? Because that means I can get another job somewhere else in the future without much problem, or less problem than it typically would be. And, uh, yeah, so that's... it's just, it's been good. The job's been good, and uh, I'm gonna say what the next topic is, being it that my Twitch stream has, like, gotten a lot of, like, a lot of, like, interaction lately, and it's... it's... Mainly part, uh, mainly thanks to Cerny uh, underscore, which is a Twitch TF2 streamer and YouTuber. Uh, he's a rather cool, really cool dude, and he decided one night to host me and be like, "Hey, dude, what's up, bro?" And then he raided me two weeks later, and we're just, I'm just kind of like the, I've been included into a community that I never really got included into, and the parts that I like, I was a part of, I didn't really care for. But now that like I've gotten into the correct community. It says streaming is a more of a joy than it's ever been, and that says a lot considering that I already enjoyed it enough <laughs> before the that influx of uh, of uh, wow what is it called interaction came about. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank Sony underscore for the help. It's been great. It's made me want to stream even more, and that's what I'm going to be able to do eventually do because. Uh, if you followed me on Instagram, you might have seen that I've uploaded a couple, a couple pictures of my new computer parts. And uh, as they stand right now, I still have a 4790K. That hasn't changed since the last Overwatch video. Uh, but at this point, it's retail as opposed to bought used. Uh, because the guy that sold it just kind of ignored, uh, ignored everyone that uh, put bids on it after a guy was like, Hey, um, it just kind of put a price on it, and he was like, okay, fuck you, I'm not gonna put a bidding round or anything, I'm not gonna give him time to uh, bid against you, I'm just gonna like, give it to you. And that was really, really shady and really shitty of him. 
But in the end, it worked out because I have every part needed now at, as, uh, next to my processor. The only thing I'm missing is my processor and the cooler from my processor. And when I have that, I can just go ahead and start streaming at least like three times a week. It'll be great. I'll do it on, you know, after work days. So, you know, I don't wake up late when I need to go to work. And I can just stream rather late and it won't be a big deal. And that'll be great. Three days a week is much better than two. I mean, uh, one, you know, every Saturday. And what makes this even more awesome because uh, is that, like, a week after I, like, decided that this is the one thing I want to do, um, they made a affiliate program on Twitch and that you need not the biggest, like, audience to be able to get to. All you need to do is stream seven, te seven days a month and you have to reach, like, a certain amount of time. Uh, I reach the time, but I just don't reach the, um, the amount of times a week. Just the overall time. So when I stream more often, I'm pretty much guaranteed to become an affiliate, and then people can put like give me bits on stream, and they're like it'll, it's just um, it's a very nice lucrative solution for people that don't necessarily have the popularity to uh, be partnered, but still want to like still want to like be able to do tr streaming at least, like, uh, three, four times a week and actually, like, s make it sustainable in some sort. Like, you can actually get something out of it as opposed to the stream for fun. You can now actually get a bonus, which is rather nice. Not that I wouldn't stop streaming for fun, because that's, you know, why would you stream if you don't have fun with it? I mean, a couple people do, but otherwise it's like, it's generally the consensus that that's not what you do. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's that. Uh, and I also reached, uh, t 100 subscribers on YouTube. Which is like, damn, we got there. And it was, it was after Sony, you know, gave me the shout-out and everything, and the people were like, oh, you have a YouTube channel, and then suddenly people started coming over here as well, and, uh, this has been getting, this has been picking up, and it's been a lot of fun to just do YouTube and Twitch, respectively. Especially now that I have a job and I don't just sit at home all day and do nothing. Actually, I'm active. I, you know, I, I, I don't just sit at home and do nothing all day. Which is great, in general. Um, there's one other thing I think I was going to talk about, but I'm not actually remembering at the moment. <laughs> this is what happens in update videos. I'm sure you're used to it, because it's, it's always what happens. But... Yeah, the, the computer. I think I for just forgot to talk about the computer parts I had in it. That's what I ended up going on tangent for. Uh, but yeah, uh, it has a 4790K processor, a 1060 3G Gaming X from M MSI, which is... Gaming X is my all-time favorite cooler design. It's just, it's cool looking, it has massive fans that shut down when the card is not actually being used for much. Which is very nice. Uh, you know, other producers have that thing where... Oh. Actually, it didn't even blow up. Nice. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is a pretty fun game mode. If you ignore that, it's rather slow and repetitive when you do it multiple times. But it's actually kind of challenging when you get over to hard or, like, uh, expert. As, of course, legendary is, like, virtually impossible for people that haven't done this for at least, like, two weeks in straight and haven't stopped playing this. There's also a glitch if you're Tracer, you can just blink to the next gate, which is where the, the ending for the payload is. You just go to that gate as Tracer, and then you can just stop things from spawning when you are pushing the payload, which is... Eh... It's just whatever, right? It's, it's a glitch. They're going to have them pretty much every event, as showcased by... I don't think there's a single event which had, like, a special brawl that didn't have a game-breaking glitch. Take Lucio Ball, right? Lucio Ball had a glitch where you could just spam uh, spam your uh, um, open character switch menu thing. Uh, these guys are just ignoring the uh, Bastion, by the way. I don't know what they're doing. What? Reinhardt! Reinhardt, charge the fucking... Reinhardt! <laughs> what are you doing, man? You could have, like, actually died there if you continued. Oh my god. This is why I wanted to go Reinhardt, but he just kind of insta-picked it before I could get it insta-lock. And this also happens to just be level 8. <sighs> this is why I want to be Reinhardt most of the time. Because Mercy's just hold mouse 1 or mouse 2 depending on what you want to do and you, you win. While Reinhardt is just you actually have to like protect your team from damage and etc etc etc. 
Oh god. I wish our Rhinox could actually take care of the stuff he needs to take care of. You know, like those. There we go, he's healing now. Yeah, I gotta re completely sidetrack because of this garbage, garbage um, Reinhardt. But it's fine, we're probably not gonna lose, this is on normal after all. If you lose normal, then I'm literally going to, like, retire and never play video games again. Okay, um, Reinhardt, wrong way! Well, whatever, I guess. Oh, that's not hitting you. It's hitting the corner of the wall for some reason. I guess I'm the damaged character now. There we go. At least we're doing well. We're, we're not gonna fail. I already know that's impossible, pretty much. I have my res, like, if anyone's to die, it's... I just wait for everyone to be dead and then revive them anyway. It's fine. I'll do mercy strats. Yeah, the 1060, and then I have an M.2 SSD for my boot drive. It's 500 gig. It's rather cheap. But what I care about when it comes to boot drives is not, like, the fastest thing. I just care that it has to be an SSD, and it has to be having enough, like, storage for me to download all the programs I use, which is, like, my uh, yet-to-be-used music production software that I haven't used yet because I wanted to wait for a new computer. Because then I have, like, extra time to actually use it for stuff. Uh, and that's pretty much all of the important things. I switched to a 450D as opposed to a 750D because the, the, the Corsair Obsidian 750D is just a little bit too large. Like, it has way too much expansion spots. Like, I'm not gonna have like six hard drives and like six SS like three SSDs and one M.2 SSD. I, I'm not gonna be able to use all that storage space. And it already has enough space in the 450D for even an SLI or a whatever setup with graphics card, a dual, a dual setup with graphics cards. So I really don't care otherwise. And it's gonna be easier to carry around. Like, that's what I was like, oh, it's a, it's a 750D, it's, it's just mid, it's like a medium tower or whatever. But it's, it was actually a big tower. Uh, okay, I hope our Reinhardt... Reinhardt. R Reinhardt! Jesus! Oh! <laughs> you see that bounce? This bounced off the wall and back into his charge. That was pretty sick. Otherwise, he was pretty dumb, though. Oh, here comes Bastion. Here comes Bastion. Yeah, please. Reinhardt, wrong way. Reinhardt, wrong way. What are you doing, man? You're all going the wrong way. Please, kill the Bastion. Our Tracer missed. Jesus. I'm actually going to speed uh, damage boost you. Never mind, it's fine. Also, uh, just a heads up for the um, uh, it's a decent amount of time. Um, I the Penumbra Black Plague playthrough is going to be on hold, and I think I'll have it on hold until I get a new computer because, like, I I since I have my setup like all good now uh, at the place I actually live at. I, I want to be there most of the time, and then if I don't want to have to spend extra time recording stuff over here, because on Saturday I'm record or like I'm already streaming, and like then possibly even recording with one free man, and then like it, it just becomes more too much at once. So I decided that I will take a break. But it started well. That that game is starting rather well. I'm enjoying it. It feels a little bit better than the original game. Does that make sense? It feels like a very worthy successor, if anything. The turn gate and everything, and like how uh, that stuff kind of coincides with um, what happens in the first game. They did like Penumbra is my um, favorite uh, game series from those developers for a reason. Because Amnesia is also really good. I watched a lot of stuff on that, but Penumbra just feels better to me. I don't know what it is. Probably is just better, to be honest. And it's also because it's in a modern setting. It has like the puzzle. <laughs> like I'm not gonna spoil. Because I don't know if you've actually watched it, but there's like puzzle in there that's very technical. And so, uh, being a technical guy, I enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. It took a while to figure out because it didn't necessarily make a lot of sense. And I would have to like do re I had to do like five seconds of research on Google to find out what I was actually supposed to do. But otherwise, it was intuitive, and I like I knew what I was supposed to do. Otherwise, I was just I was just missing one thing. I was just doing one thing incorrectly, and it didn't want to come together correctly. So that's on hold. Um, and obviously with the new schedule that I'm going to be switching to eventually, after I get the computer, it's going to make me stream more often. 
So, uh, you know, if you want to be a part of that, then please follow me on DMrMorton on Twitch. And be part of that fun business. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much every, all, every, all the topics that I needed to cover. And let's just uh, beat the shit out of this game, please. Like, this is what normal is. You don't have to use your ultimates. You just kind of play the game. And, like, it goes naturally uh, well because there's nothing really difficult about it. See, I have no medals and nobody's died. <laughs> okay, Reinhardt, you should probably charge. Not into the wall. My god, this guy. This is why I should, this, is, this is why I typically play on hard, but I was doing it on normal just so I didn't want didn't have to do this video twice because I failed on normal. That I mean on hard. That would be pretty embarrassing. I'd rather play on normal than fail on hard to be honest. Where is Tracer? There she is. Hey Tracer. Tracer, you can't just Tracer! Tracer, Jesus! Jesus. Oh boy. Yeah, he's going to die. But I have my ultimate, so I'll just gonna I'm just gonna wait for him to die actually. Shall I'll save Torbjorn. Get the bastion, my friend! What are you doing? He's shielding the wrong side! I can, sh I can heal you through the wall, wow. Pretty neat, I guess. That's how you kill something, alright. Do I really have to be a DPS mercy right now, guys? What is our Reinhardt doing? You know, I'm just gonna ignore him. I've finally gotten enough of his shit. Oh, he charged. Wow, impressive. Oh, he actually hit something. My goodness. Is he going to be even better now? Please kill him. Yeah, I mean her, technically. Where am I? Where am I? Get in the camera range. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to this channel and following me on Twitch at previously mentioned channel that's going to be in the description. This game, as you might be able to tell, is kind of broken. There we go. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.